Hello to those buying a Rivian. Um, for those who are not but have an EV um, and are curious about bi-directional charging, hang tight because I've got something about that in a moment. Be aware that you can use your uh, Rivian referral to buy Rivian charger. So it's $800, you'll get $750 with your referral. Um, if and when I get any referrals, that's what I plan to do is get the uh, 48 amp wall charger. So after your $750 referral, um, there'll be $62 tax on the $800 purchase. I believe you're still on the hook for the total amount of tax. That might not be true. Um, if someone figures it out, let me know. There would be a $50 remainder. So total, you'd be on the hook for $112 for a um, pretty quick, reliable um, wall charging unit for your Rivian. On top of that, I wanted to uh, mention to you guys that I have been hunting for, I've mentioned in my other videos, that I've been hunting for a new solar system addition and um, some batteries, and I've been looking for bi-directional charger. Um, I'd sort of given up on the bi-directional chargers, they are still really not actually available at the moment in the U.S., um, but they, they've been saying this for a while, right? Like, oh, next year, next quarter, or whatever. Um, I do believe there's a company that's making them um, that is called Point Guard Energy. They've installed some in other countries under other names, but it's the same system. So if you look at SIG Energy, S-I-G Energy, there's some videos of systems with the bi-directional charger being installed in Australia. Um, I've contacted them who gave me their information that they're point guard energy in the States. That's who they are stateside. Um, and they are going to be releasing that system that they already have available here as far as batteries and solar inversion they're gonna be releasing that same system. It just adds a module that is bi-directional capable. Um, so it's it's kind of like Lego bricks. They stack up on each other. You can have a varying amount of batteries and then you can have the bi-directional charger on top of that and then your inverter that can kind of controls everything. The, the benefit to that charger is that it's going to be DC to DC. Um, which is going to allow in combination of solar batteries and your grid energy, you're going to be able to use 25 kilowatts um, to charge at once. So that's not really DC fast charging per se. I, I consider it like a level two and a half charger. Um, level two is generally, it's up to 240 volts, um, 11 and a half kilowatts. This system would be more than double that um, kilowatt wise. So I don't know what the voltage would be, um, but it's, it's double the kilowatts. So uh, more than double. So uh, Rivian, uh, my Rivian anyway, being charged from zero to full, zero to 100%, which isn't really possible. That's not going to happen for me. Um, that would take less than four hours. So you'd be at like three and a half hours-ish. Um, that's really cool. That's very impressive. And it's a really handy feature. Like I said, then that also allows an enormous amount of energy, kind of whatever the vehicle is going to be capable of pushing, back to our home or back to the grid. So uh, my intent, and I've discussed this with um, Phil, the president of Hamar Power Systems in Santee. Um, if you're in the San Diego area, you'll know where that is. Um, they do regular electrical work and all of that, but he's the one who um, Point Guard gave me his contact information as the official installer. So you can currently get the battery and solar system for point guard energy and when it's available because they're just modular all they would have to do is come out and install that unit on top of it so no formal cost has been announced um i'm gonna assume it's it's around three or four thousand for the bi-directional portion um and each module is 
I think, eight kilowatt hours um, for the battery packs. So you can stack as many as you want. They don't generally get wall mounted. You can wall mount them if you want to, but um, they stand on a pad, like a concrete pad, or you can buy a pad from them preformed and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's a really neat system. Um, and again, that gives you the ability to DC charge your car. I have yet to play with the app or anything else. I'd love to get my hands on it um, if anyone knows how. But just to see if if you could control how fast you were DC charging. Like if I have the capability of 25 kilowatt charging, could I charge slower than that? That would be pretty neat. You know, just so that in theory then my power is coming straight from the solar straight into the car as DC straight through. I'm not having to pause and invert it and then re-invert it at any point. Um, so uh, the idea behind a DC system would be that it's more efficient. You've got less loss from things, um, you know, being inverted and changed between DC and AC. That's a pretty exciting system. Again, contact um, Hamar. Uh, power systems. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. J A M A R power systems in Santee. Um, that's who I'm going to use. I was talking to Phil. He gave me a great um, breakdown of, you know, where my electricity is going, my trends, and and all of that, and built a system with me um, over the phone. Um, he did like a little video chat with me, so he could screen share, and I could see what. He was doing and talking about and we could crunch all the numbers and come up with a system together that I was happy with um, and was realistic. So I am going to be waiting until that bi-directional um, charger is available. Once that's available, um, my intention currently is that I'll add, we'll see how many solar panels, but at least 10 um, solar panels um, if we believe that's enough, you know, we're looking at the energy use that of our home so far over the last year. By the time the bi-directional charging portion is available, we'll take another look at it and make sure that whatever solar I have is going to be enough to co cover all my use. Um, in San Diego, we're also in a situation right now where you're, there's some really good incentives, but you kind of got to pull the trigger right now. Um, to take advantage of them. Otherwise, they're already gone away because there's a budget and they're at like 71% as of a week ago. So they're going to get capped real quick. Um, once that's done, they have already announced that they are definitely, they're confirmed bringing the program back next year. So what I'm intending to do is wait and take advantage of that, uh, those incentives all at once on a whole system. So the the solar, the batteries, the solar inverter, and a bi-directional charger, which should give me, if, if my intent is to have um, enough battery power to run my home during an outage or through the nights for the most part, minus the AC and the hot tub, stuff like that, um, then if uh, during the summer my AC um, and my air conditioning usage is sp spiked like it tends to from June, July through October ish. Um, this October has been kind of cool, so we're not using it very much. But uh, the theory would be then I can hook up one of my cars to provide additional power. Rivians and Mustang Mach E's currently don't allow me to bi-directional charge. I'm told that they're capable of doing that. And uh, when that's available, I'll demonstrate it if possible. Um, but the solar system should still charge those batteries. And year round, I'm not gonna be using grid power until those peak AC hours. And then I'll be able to plug in a vehicle um, for instance, the leaf that my daughter has right now is already capable of being used bidirectionally. So I can plug that in and run any additional usage during peak hours um, that my AC would be using from the leaf. So 
Um, that way, during peak hours, I will not be using any grid electricity. And during off-peak hours, my solar will be creating enough to offset any of my um, use year-round, which would be, that's the dream, right? That's perfect. Um, that also means that during emergencies, when the grid is down, um, if there was an earthquake, people have lost power, whatever the situation may be, people in Florida, the hurricane, um, then, um, or the Carolinas for that matter, but um, if there was an emergency like that, then the theory would be my solar would still create enough electricity to charge those batteries, run my home during the day and the evenings. Um, and if I needed additional power, I could plug in my leaf currently right now. Um, and in theory, I could plug in the Rivian, maybe the mach -E if Ford allows that update in future. Um, so... It, that's, you know, being completely self-sufficient at that point, really. Um, and again, in, during an emergency, I'm not worried about how am I going to power my fridge or having lights on at nighttime or be able, being able to cook um, or any of the rest of it. So, um, you know, or like I heard in, in some of those hurricane situations, they, you know, people aren't running their AC. Uh, there's no power. Um, so they're sitting in sweltering, humid conditions. Um, yeah, so that's the idea is to be as safe and comfortable as possible, um, no matter the situation. Um, I have about 208 kilowatts, um, kilowatt hours of batteries in my driveway. So a bi-directional charger for $4,000 is a steal to be able to access that and use it for my home at any time, or even potentially if I chose to, which I, I don't think I would due to battery degradation concerns and all of that, but you could send that back to the grid if there was some kind of uh, financial incentive to do that in the future. Um, so there you go. That's the info uh, concerning um, Point Guard's energy system. Shout out to Phil. Thank you so much um, from Hamar uh, Power Systems in Santee. I really appreciate you going over everything with me. And um, for those who want, you can get the battery and the solar system right now installed and then get that bi-directional brick installed later if that's something that you're interested in. Um, it's a pretty cool looking system. It does have built-in um, fire extinguishers and, and a whole bunch of safety stuff. They really seem to, to um, kind of go up a, a notch from other manufacturers of other battery systems. Until this system, until I found this system, I was just kind of going to go and get the Tesla Powerwall 3s um, and a whole ton of solar. Um to offset my max AC usage and have enough battery power that I could I could run that. But the bi-directional portion of this system means that I really only have to buy the enough battery power to get me through generally the year. And then I can um, use my vehicles to back up the house when I have high peak usage for some reason. So it's a really cool system. Um, do your own research. I've done just a ton of it. And that's sort of where I've landed is I have 25 solar panels now. Um, I offset all of my usage, including my EVs, um, with the exception of when I'm running the AC. When I'm running the AC, I don't cover my own use anymore. Um, so yeah, I'll throw up some more panels, um, get the battery system, and the bi-directional charger, and that should mean that I'm capable of being completely self-sufficient.